Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. I was wanting to give my take on this. Yeah, yeah, th this, this, um, person, he had did an interview where he was, like, explaining that hip-hop is white supremacy. He was pretty much, like, explaining how rap music destroys the black community. With, with this person that I'm going to be doing a take on, I, I like some of the stuff that he talks about, but, 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 but also, too, some of the stuff that he do talk about, I do feel do do be kind of out of line because just like the part where he was talking about interracial marriage saying that he doesn't like agree with interracial marriage he doesn't like approve of that see see that right there I mean I don't really agree with but other than that you know I mean th this this brother right here this brother right here he's he's he he th this interview that he did i i definitely enjoyed it i mean he definitely spoke a lot of facts in this interview but again this yeah no disrespect no disrespect to this overeducated black brother because yeah i mean yeah this black brother he definitely like with his platform with the interviews that he does he he definitely wants to like the black community to like be more positive and 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 just like the stuff that I talk about I even wrote a song called the black community but I was wanting to give my take on Dr. Umar Johnson's interview where he was explaining that hip hop is white supremacy this is my take on that Dr. Umar Johnson interview explaining that hip hop is white supremacy here's my take I mean, in that interview, Dr. Umar Johnson, he spoke a lot of facts in that interview. I mean, with hip hop becoming the number one genre now that time has passed, I mean, the, these higher ups, the government, like, they, they pretty much work with the music industry. And I've done a lot of videos about this of how, of how, like, when it comes down to major labels and mainstream rappers, mainstream rap artists, how they want these rappers to rap, to rap about all of this negative stuff, of how they want these rappers to put all of this, all of these negative messages in their music to destroy the black community. With all the negativity that they have in rap music, this is pretty much the reason why you always hear about a rapper getting shot and killed in their hometown. This is pretty much the reason why you always hear about a rapper dying from a drug overdose because of the messages that they put in the songs. And that's the thing about it. You do got some people, you do got some teenagers and young adults that are starting to wake up and realize that listening to all of that negativity listening to like rappers that are not really all that talented rapping off beat that don't really take the craft serious they're starting to wake up and realize that 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 it's not good for them to listen to and you see that's pretty much the main reason why rap music is falling off now. That's pretty much the main reason why rap music is struggling in the mainstream. But yeah, Dr. Umar Johnson, he spoke nothing but facts in that interview. He spoke nothing but facts. And and just like he also had stated too, when it comes down to a rapper rapping about a life that that he knows that he used to live when he was living in the hood like dr umar johnson stated he that rapper doesn't live in the hood anymore the rapper moved out of the hood why rap about a life that you no longer live anymore makes sense makes sense i mean i understand see and that's the thing about it see those are the type of rappers that are about that street life. And I even did a video about this too. Like as a rapper, if you're not about that life, don't rap about it. But you see, you do got rappers that 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 are actually about that life and they rap about it. But at the same time, it's always a good idea to think of other songs. It's always a good idea to like think about talking about something else.
it's always a good idea to like think of other topics that you can rap about, think of other topics that you can talk about. You don't got to you don't got to always talk about the shooting, the killing and all of the other negativity because it's pretty much the reason why rappers be dying so much. But yeah, that interview that Dr. Umar Johnson did, I salute the brother. I salute the overeducated brother. The dude is like very intelligent. I, I salute Dr. Umar Johnson. But yeah, Dr. Umar Johnson, he did speak a lot of facts in that interview. But 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 not just like, I mean, rap music, it's not just it doesn't just destroy the black community it even destroys kids it destroys the youth you be having kids that be wanting to get on drugs you be having kids that be wanting to sip lean you be having kids that be wanting to carry a pistol acting like they gangster and 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 that's another thing too like hip-hop is like the most influential music genre ever and I, I remember Dr. Umar Johnson mentioned that in the interview, like, facts, it is, hip-hop is very influential, and you be having these kids that be, that become easily influenced, they want to act like they a gangster, they want to act like they hard, they want to act like they tough, they want to act like a, like they a gangster, when in all reality, they, they cap, and see, with me as a rap artist, I'm me, I'm me, I'm not no gangster. I don't have no tattoos. I don't come from the hood. I don't come from the streets. I'm me. You know, and there's nothing wrong about being yourself. Just be yourself. But yeah, that's my take on Dr. Umar Johnson's interview explaining that hip hop is white supremacy. If you a fan of Dr. Umar Johnson, Feel free to chat with me. Feel free to engage with me. Like I said, there are some stuff that I don't really agree with Dr. Umar Johnson on. But the interview that he did where he was explaining that hip hop is white supremacy. He spoke a lot of facts in that interview. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, and again, my new song, I Apologize, it's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.